Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm going to show you how I made a Jimin bust cake. A lot of you have asked me to make a BTS themed cake, BTS being the K-pop band. So I decided instead of just making a cake with a theme, I am going to make a bust cake of one of the members. It was really hard to narrow it down and pick only one member of BTS, but bust cakes take a really long time and I can't do all of them. So I finally narrowed it down to Jimin. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. We put out a new cake video every Monday. In an upcoming video, I am going to turn one of my patrons' pets into cake. So if you want your pet to potentially become a cake, all you have to do is become a patron. You can do that at patreon.com slash sidesurfcakes. So let's get started. I start with a cake carved in the shape of a faceless bust, and then I cover it in modeling chocolate. I made an oops, and I didn't hit record on the camera while stacking and covering this cake, but the good news is I have a Freddy Krueger cake video that you can check out, and it shows the full process. Jimin sings and dances for the Korean pop band BTS. There are seven guys in this band, and Jimin is definitely a fan favorite. He's really talented and also very cute, so I get it. Here I'm adding modeling chocolate to shape Jimin's facial features. Before I add any details, I want to make sure that the placement and size of his lips, nose, and mouth are correct in relation to each other. That way, if anything is slightly off, I can rest assured that I didn't put a boatload of time into refining those details just to scrap it and re-sculpt it. K-pop is hugely popular all over the world, and as far as I know, BTS is the most popular K-pop band of all the K-pop bands. They're breaking all kinds of records and winning all kinds of awards. Good for BTS. I cover 99% of my cakes in modeling chocolate rather than fondant. And that's because you can't easily bulk and blend facial features with fondant the same way that you can modeling chocolate. Modeling chocolate is similar to clay, where you can put pieces on and you can blend the seams really easily. Fondant, yeah, not so much. The key to adding chunks of modeling chocolate to your cake is to knead the chocolate until it's super soft and then you place it onto the cake and blend it. So if you're having trouble blending, that's probably because your chocolate isn't soft enough. Ah, BTS put out their first single in 2013, so that means that they were all teenagers when they started. That's pretty crazy. No wonder they're so talented. Unlike most K-pop bands, BTS actually play a huge role in producing most of their own music. And personally, I find that to be really impressive and really important. I mean, I think all artists should create their own work. Even when a customer orders a custom cake from me and they have a specific theme, I get to be creative and I get to design the cake. I don't want to just replicate someone else's cake design. That's for the birds. <laughs> Now that I have the features of Jimin's face sculpted, it's time to go in and add some details. I added some really fine lines to his lips. You likely can't see them that well just yet, but when I go in and I paint his lips, those lines and creases are really gonna pop. Next comes the ear. The ear is made of a chunk of modeling chocolate. So first I make sure that the size of the ear is correct, and then I add the shape. I used to hate sculpting ears, but lately I've actually really enjoyed it. Maybe it's because I've practiced enough that it's a bit easier for me than it used to be. Ears are weird. Then I go in with a pointed tool and I mark his hairline. That way I can just follow that line as I start sculpting his hair. Jimin has some amazing hair, you guys. He has these really nice face framing curtain bangs and they're super fun to sculpt. I'm very jealous, I want them. I used the same color modeling chocolate on his skin as I do his hair. And that's because Jimin's hair color changes all the time. So I did a little research and it looks like at the moment he's blonde. 
So that way I can go in and paint his hair blonde rather than going in with a chocolate that's too dark. His hair is also a bit longer and more grown out than it usually is, so that's the look I'm going for. So I like to put on gloves and shape the hair with my fingers. Because the chocolate is so soft when I add it to the cake, you can also even add lines with a paintbrush. For his eyebrows, I added a small amount of modeling chocolate, I blended it into the brow, and then I sculpted tiny hairs with a thin pointed tool. So I'm making really nice light feathered marks. He's got awesome brows too. This dude's got it all. <laughs> Jealous. Now that his face and hair are sculpted, it's time to work on his shoulders. Since his entire head is made of cake, I decided to keep the shoulders simple and just sculpt them out of chocolate. His head is life size, so that's a lot of cake. And from my experience with bust cakes, people prefer to eat the head anyway. I've never cut the cake and heard anyone scream, I want a shoulder. <laughs> They always want the eyes, actually. <laughs> Give me a nose. I'll take an ear. They always want features on the head and face. I took a pointed tool and I scored around his neck and that is going to represent his t-shirt. Now that sculpting is finished, it's time to paint. So I paint this cake with gel food color diluted with a strong, clear alcohol or extract. I typically like to start with the eyes because I really think it kind of brings the cake to life. With the iris, I keep the center slightly lighter than the outside edge. So it radiates from a light brown in the center out to a dark brown. And then you add the pupil. So a lot of the time when Jimin performs, he's wearing makeup. So I decided to add a little brown to the corner of his eyes and give him a bit of a smoky eye. So I paint in the brown and then I take a clean dry brush and I smudge it. You know, it's like I'm doing his makeup. Right now, Jimin is 24 years old. So he's pretty young. So I decided that I wasn't going to get too carried away with painting in any dark shadows on his face because sometimes that can age the bust cake a bit. And we don't want that. I added a modeling chocolate collar. Uh, I saw a picture of him and I really liked the way it looked. So that was a last minute choice. <laughs> I painted all of his hair with a dark blonde color. And then I took a wet paper towel and I wiped away some of the food color. What's cool about this is all that dark color is going to stay in those deep creases and it's a really easy way to create highlights in his hair. Then I go in with a super light yellow, it's almost white, and I paint in a few highlights. And last, I hand painted his clothes. So you want to take your time with this part because it's really easy to accidentally get some of the food color on his neck. Now if that does happen, you just wet a paintbrush and wipe it away. And there you have it, a realistic Jimin bust cake. Now don't be mad at me, but this is a cake. And since it's a cake, we got to cut the cake. So I'm cutting it. Don't be mad. It's just a cake. Who wants some forehead? 